If you wanna make an awesome gift promotion like this one, stick around, cause we're showing you step-by-step step in this video. In step one, we're going to create our GIF or GIF if you roll like that using Canva, but you can use any design software that's easiest for you to produce high quality images. Remember a GIF is just a series of images looping. So that's what we're going to do quickly in Canva. We're going to design the images for our promo. And the reason I like Canva is that you can do this with virtually no design knowledge. They have really great snap and click guidelines that keep you on track. And for those who might feel a little bit intimidated by Photoshop, Canva is a great alternative. But again, there are more design softwares out there. The great thing about Canva as well is that they do have a uh, export to GIF option. But today I'm gonna show you what I did instead to make sure that this GIF file is less than two megs because that's what we're gonna need for our Optin Monster campaign. So we're gonna export a JPEG file and this will export all five of the images we just created in Canva. And step two is to create the GIF or optimize it using the internet. So if you Google GIF creator, it'll bring up a whole list of free options. I just used this gifmaker.me option and it worked really well. And all you have to do is upload your image files. So I uploaded all five of those, choose, and that will automatically create your GIF. And if you see on the right hand side, you can adjust the speed of the animation and you can also select how many times it will repeat. And if you'd like to put in music, you can also lay over some music on it. And that's all you need to do. Once you've made those adjustments, you can simply click download GIF and you'll have it ready for your Optin Monster campaign. And step three is to create your Optin Monster campaign. This will just take us a few minutes. Within the Optin Monster dashboard, we're going to select pop up and we're going to use the flash template. Next, you'll want to name your campaign, decide which site it will load on and start building. Then within the drag and drop builder, we can click on the image and that will bring us directly to the image editor. And here's what we need to upload the GIF that we just downloaded. So just click upload and you'll see that it's working great. Now all we need to do is remove that green padding. So we'll go to the column block and I'm just gonna make the first color transparent and then down where it says padding, we'll move that to zero on the top and bottom. And as you can see, that's already starting to look so much better. Now we just need to adapt the message to reflect what we talk about in the GIF. So we're gonna switch it to a free shipping flash sale and we'll change the text to say free shipping, and then I'm going to reduce the font size, but obviously in your campaign, you just need to adapt this to whatever campaign you're running. And I'm also gonna change the color because I'm not that big of a fan of that bright green font. So we'll switch it to this nice fuchsia font. And then we'll just copy the hex code from the font to style our button the same color. So we can just click on the submit button and that'll bring us to the button element and we can paste in the color there, that hex code. And next I'm going to click on the countdown timer to switch it to only being a one day offer because as you can see in the GIF, it says today only. So when we click on the countdown timer, that will open up the editor on the left hand side and I'm gonna switch it to a dynamic countdown timer, which means that it doesn't have a static end date. It means that every person who sees this campaign will see it as if there is 24 hours left of the offer. So that's something to take into consideration when you run your promotions. I'm also going to adapt the button text to say, get your free shipping coupon. And then we're going to want to change the button action so we'll click on the action tab and here you can either decide for it to go to the success view or you can also redirect to URL. But if you choose that option, you'll want to send them to a shopping cart with the coupon already applied or something like that. And we can also send them to the success view and that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna import the opt-in view and that will help me. Now I just have to delete off any elements off of this view that don't belong. And we can give a big thank you as well as provide 
the free shipping coupon. So I'm just gonna change the messaging here to say, here's your code, and I'll make sure to thank our new subscribers as well. As far as our design goes, we're finishing up, so we're gonna save our campaign, and next we'll go into display rules, and this is how we decide who will see our campaign, when it will show on our site, where it will show on our site. So for the sake of today's tutorial, we'll say if the current URL path contains, and then maybe in this case, we want them to see the prints product page. So we can write prints or whatever URL path you are wanting to show this campaign on, that is where you'll select it. Or you can also have an alternative rule such as if they've been on the site for 30 seconds. So then you'll just click next step and in the summary, you can confirm that the display rules are correct. Next, in the integrations tab, you'll want to make sure to connect with your email marketing service provider, but also know that Optin Monster can also keep your leads for you via Monster Leads. In the analytics tab, you can also decide if you'd like to connect to your Google Analytics. And finally, in the publish tab, we'll toggle from pause to live. And if you click preview campaign, here is what your gift campaign will look like on your site. I love the way that looks. I hope you like it too. And let me know in the comments if you're going to get your gift campaign up and running on your site today. Don't forget to subscribe for future online marketing videos here at Optin Monster, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.